no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net The United States of America has the most obese people in the world we also have the most anorexic people. That's mind-blowing. We are literally the land of the thin and home of the fat. That's like being the land of the free and home of a police state. Well, I guess we're that too. Three days ago, I saw a comedian nearly get an adult film star from the audience to blow a 20-year-old kid also from the audience live on stage. Yet five days ago, I was down at Occupy Los Angeles and they were getting shot with rubber bullets for drawing in chalk on a sidewalk. You take those two incidents together and this seems to be the freest and least free society in the galaxy simultaneously. We're also the richest country in the world, but we're racked with massive debt. We're supposedly the country where anyone can get to the top if they simply work hard enough. Yet six heirs of the Walmart fortune have the same amount of wealth as the bottom 40% of this country, 125 million people. And I don't care how hard those people work. I don't care if you scrub the toilet harder than you've ever scrubbed before. I don't give a fuck if you drive a truck better than anyone has ever driven a truck, driving 20 hours a day and only sleeping during red lights and only pissing in a bottle. It doesn't matter. You will never, ever make enough money to be allowed in the same hotel lobby as the billionaires who own this society. You will never get to the top. You will be lucky if you see the middle off in the distance. So how did we end up with a land of egregious disparities and contradictions? We did it by allowing corporate profit to rule our belief system. Allowing a kid to be blown on TV might be good for ratings, but chalk messages speaking the truth about corporate control are bad for profits. Convincing people that they should be buying the super big gulp Coca-Cola, which has enough sugar to, 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 to put a rhino into a diabetic seizure, is good for the bottom line, but it makes the nation's waistline look like a fucking Dolly clock. And putting emaciated photoshopped women in movies sells products and grabs viewers. Who cares if it forces 16-year-olds nationwide to voluntarily throw up two meals a day? It sells magazines, motherfucker! And besides, with the amount of GMOs in our food, maybe puking up those meals ain't such a bad thing. But now everybody in America hates themselves because that actor guy says having 24-pack abs is as easy as having a salad instead of some fries. He fails to mention that he has a live-in trainer who's paid a hundred grand a year to literally slap the food out of his hand. I could have ass cheeks that crack walnuts open too, asshole, if I owned my own dude standing next to me, beating me in the face with every candy bar I even look at sideways. It turns out replacing willpower with a buffalo-shaped man named Magnus is a sure way to lose those extra pounds. We have an obese yet skinny, free yet imprisoned, rich yet poor society, and it's making everyone fucking miserable. It's time to live by a human belief system again. One that puts humanity over money. Just don't, uh, don't write that in chalk or you, you might get shot. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. You'll notice there are no outside advertisements on Moment of Clarity. In place of uh, annoying ads, please donate a small amount, whatever you think this episode was worth, to help keep Moment of Clarity going. You can do that at LeeCamp.net. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.